got a good episode. Today we're going to show you our 2019 Ram 3500 Dually. Uh, it's also a Laramie Longhorn Edition. Um, so once you see the interior, you'll see more what we mean by Laramie Longhorn. It has a specialty leather. Um, do mind the mess. We just washed the truck yesterday, but we're in deep east Texas, so the pollen got to it last night. So if you see all the pollen and all these little flakes here, that's what it's from. The one added benefit of the 2019s is every single light on this vehicle is an LED, including the headlight, headlights, fog lights, and uh, tail lights. Every single one is an LED. Now, it can get expensive if you do have to replace it, so just mind that. You can see all these little button lights. It's going to be all over the truck. This is actually the active parking. Um, also, the sensors to tell you how close you are to something. There's a lot of cameras up here, too. Uh, in the grill, we have one here. Um, there's also one on each of the side mirrors and three in the back to give you an all-around view when that you can see yourself when you're driving and all your surroundings. Here we got the standard Dodge tow mirrors. Uh, manual fold in and fold out with this edition the Laramie Longhorn um, you are able to automatically move this bottom mirror I know a lot of the baser models don't have that option um, also with this option you get a little spotlight with the camera right here um, so when you're trying to find an RV spot in the middle of the night you can turn on these spotlights and it'll shoot out a bright light to the side it's actually very bright we did get the two-tone paint on this, so the top is the uh, brilliant white, and then the bottom is actually what they call an RV matched walnut brown. Um, I think it looks more like a copper, so that's why we named the truck Liberty. Um, next, we got the door handle. It's the active uh, lock and unlock, so you can push to lock, push to unlock, or you can actually just grab the handle and it'll unlock as well. We did get the long bed on this. Um, as far as your fuel tank, the brochure says it's 31 gallons, uh, but actually when I ran it completely empty then went and filled up, it only said 29. Um, so I'm not exactly sure we're actually getting 31 gallons in this tank. So here we have a uh, pull-out bumper step. It's very strong and sturdy. I can jump up and down, no issues. Um, but it makes it very easy to get into the tailgate. With the tailgate here, it has a soft open, um, so you just touch the button, let your hands go, and it uh, opens up on its own. This truck does have the spray-in bed liner. It also has the fifth wheel prep from Dodge directly. They use the puck system. We also have the in-bed um, trailer connector, um, and we also have full LED lights throughout the bed. Um, and there's a little push button here to turn it on as well, and it also turns on your cab light. Okay guys, we're inside the vehicle now, and as you can see, it's a brown and black two-tone. Uh, this is pretty standard with the Laramie Longhorn. Uh, over here on the side, you have two me uh, seat memory functions, uh, which is pretty convenient, especially if you and your wife are gonna be driving, you can just uh, push the button so you're not fighting over who moved the seat. Um, like I said, you're also able to move the bottom mini mirror, uh, which is the little button here. Uh, a lot of people have been confused on this. So when you want to move that mirror, you press which direction, uh, which mirror you want to move, and then you hit the mini button up top here. Up here on the steering wheel, there's a lot of buttons. Uh, this whole vehicle has had a lot of buttons, so it looks like a spaceship. But 
Couple key ones right here, you can limit the gears. This actually has the ISN six-speed transmission, uh, which is specifically made for towing. So you can adjust the limits uh, on the gears here. You can also, like I said, the sensors on the front is for uh, active driving and parking. So you can adjust the distance when you set your cruise control to how far away you wanna be from the next vehicle. So we'll go ahead and start up the vehicle. Uh, it is a push button, so. So when you start up the vehicle on the push button, when the glow plugs are warming up, it'll show you a timer going across it. You don't have to do anything special. Just keep your foot on the brake, press the start button, and it'll start as soon as the glow plugs are warmed up. So here on the dash, we have a, uh, it's a 12 inch display, much like the Tesla. Tesla, it's all touchscreen. Um, so you have a lot of different options here. You can go through your nav, climate control, all the controls here, the Laramie Longhorn does come with the heated and vented seats, also the heated steering wheel. As far as this, uh, on this side, the cameras, you can hit the cameras while you're driving. Um, so you can see the front, back, and like I said earlier, the surround, you can see this side. I can't see it right now because my door is shut. Uh, I don't know why it's not picking it up, but, um, oh, because it's not shut all the way. There it goes. Um, so you can see a surround and it gives you a two foot border of everything that's around you. You got a bunch of auxiliary buttons here. Uh, this is your trailer brake control. You also have six individual auxiliary buttons that comes with the wiring. So you can add LED lights, light bars, a bunch of different options. You also have tow haul, exhaust brake, and then the parking sensor off for the front and the rear. Now the front and the rear is very good to turn off when you're trying to back up into your RV. This vehicle also comes with wireless charging for your uh, cell phones. Um, I think some iPads also do wireless charging, so that is a convenient plus. You do have three radial buttons here to open up your garage door, whatever you want to tie that to. We also did decide to get the sunroof. That was kind of a must have for me. All your buttons are here uh, to open the sunroof, tilt the sunroof, or to open the rear uh, sliding window. You can also turn off the lights when you have the vehicle open and your map lights. This vehicle is also Wi-Fi capable. Uh, when you bought when I bought the truck new it came with the two-year subscription to the Wi-Fi I looked into getting it once that ends. It's about $20 a month So it's not super expensive for the Wi-Fi and it's convenient to have on the road if you need to look up an RV space that you're going to uh, Or get on the internet just to surf the web for the kids We did get the Automatic running boards with this as well. It came standard on this model I think this is the only model that it comes standard, this and the Limited. I know the Laramie it doesn't come with, but that was a big convenient. It's all metal. They're pretty sturdy, especially when you stand on them. seat just want to show you that the rear seats do fold up and this model comes with the uh, board that lays flat comes with the little pads so you have some support when it's laying flat this is real convenient for us especially for Mia and Quinn uh, they're able to have their bed back here completely flat and be comfortable on our long hauls also wanted to show you right down here under the floor mat you have these little storage pockets uh, we keep our toe straps in there they do make a cooler to go in there so you can store your beer if you want. Um, has a little drain even, so 
pretty nice. A lot of storage in this vehicle. Since we do travel with dogs, we keep this little pink thing. I think we got this at PetSmart, maybe. Uh, but it's a little water bowl. So it's a rubberized, and it just pops up. Pretty convenient. We usually keep some bottle of water back here for our dogs because they're pretty uh, bougie. So. We're in the engine bay now. As you can see, we got the 6.7 liter turbo diesel. I won't get anything but a Cummins anymore. It's just a personal preference. Uh, really no issue with any other one. It's just, I that's what I've had and it's been trusty to me and had no issues with it. So we went back with that. This also comes with the Ison six speed transmission as well as the 410 gears. Okay guys, we just finished up the walkthrough of our truck. Uh, we decided to finish the video inside. Uh, it got really hot and muggy outside, so I wanted AC to wrap this video up. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section of YouTube. We'll do our best to answer them as quickly as we can. Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to do a walkthrough of our Van Lee Volano RV. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and also turn on the notification bell so that way you can stay up to date on all the videos that we post. <laughs> Are you going to be in this video with me? Huh? <laughs> also, head on over to Instagram. You can follow us at Long Haul Lifesavers. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.